Five people have died in a shooting at a bank in the U.S. city of Louisville, Kentucky. One of those killed was the suspected shooter who police said was an employee of the bank. Nine people were injured and have been taken to hospital, including two police officers. The Kentucky governor fought back tears as he spoke about close friend of his who had been killed in the incident. Witnesses told U.S. media the gunman opened fire in the bank's conference room. President Joe Biden described the shooting as senseless and called on Republicans in Congress to take action on gun control. Officials from Louisville updated the press on the status of the victims and also shared that the shooter was live-streaming. Police also confirmed that they had no prior engagement with the 23-year-old shooter prior to this. Local hospital treats five gunshot victims after shooting. We treated a total of five gunshot wounds from this scene, said Jason Smith, the University of Louisville Hospital's head of general surgery. Officials gave the following updates on the patients who were treated after the shooting. The hospital received nine patients after the shooting. Three were in critical condition and required operative care. Three have been released from the hospital. Three are currently in the hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. The suspect was live-streaming, Louisville Police Chief Jacqueline Gwyn Villaroel tells reporters. She says police are working to get the video taken down. Flag statewide to fly at half-mast. Kentucky Governor Andy Bashir says all families and friends in the community will be reunited in a better place without violence, without the hurt they feel today. Bashir has ordered that flag statewide fly at half-mast until Friday. The governor says families will need love, and we need love for each other. Governor wrongly told about death of second friend. Kentucky Governor Andy Bashir first received incorrect information that another friend had been killed. He said while it will take a while for his friend to heal, it was so good to see his friend and know he is still with us. Governor Andy Bashir is now talking at the podium. We lost four children of God today, one of whom was one of my closest friends, he says. He says Tommy Elliott helped him build his law career and he was an incredible friend. The governor says all the lives lost were irreplaceable individuals. Louisville Mayor, I'm a survivor of a workplace shooting, too. During the press conference, Louisville Mayor Craig Greenberg said today's shooting is deeply personal because he's also a survivor of a workplace shooting, and said a second separate shooting had taken place in the city. To the people who survived, whether you are physically hurt or not I know that you are hurting too. We are here for you as well, he said. Let's be clear about what this was, this was an evil act of targeted violence and to add to that tragedy a few blocks away shortly after this happened, another man lost his life and a woman was shot in a completely different act of targeted violence. Although he stressed the shootings were separate events, the mayor said they both took lives and they both leave people scared, grieving and angry. Officer in critical condition after brain surgery. We've learned about the other victims who were injured in the bank shooting. We have a total of nine victims who are being treated, three in critical condition, including our officer, said Louisville Police Chief Jacqueline Gwyn Villaroel. Three are stable and three have been released. An officer Nicholas Wilt, 26, just graduated. I just swore him in and his family was here to witness his journey to become a police officer. He was struck in the head the police chief said, but has come out of brain surgery, he is in critical but stable condition. Victims also named. We're now hearing the victims' names. Thomas Elliott, 63 years old. James Tutt, 64 years old. Joshua Barrick, 40 years old. Juliana Farmer, 57 years old. Police Chief identifies gunman. Louisville Police Chief Jacqueline Gwyn Villaroel identifies the shooter as 23-year-old Connor Sturgeon. His weapon of choice was a rifle, the she said. This should not continue to happen. Evil should not try to prevail and take over our city. Louisville officials and the police department are holding a news conference to bring us up to date with this morning's shooting that left five people dead and wounded at least eight others at the old National Bank in the city's downtown. You can watch by pressing the play button at the top of the page and stay tuned to our live coverage for the latest. Deadly gun battle erupts in downtown Louisville. As we've been reporting, in the latest mass shooting in the United States, at least five people have been killed at a bank in Louisville. Footage below recaps the deadly gun battle erupting, an officer taking cover behind a police car, eyewitness reaction and a statement from Governor Andy Bashir. Louisville Convention Center converts to reunification site after shooting. Louisville has created a reunification center for residents searching for updates on family members involved in the old National Bank shooting. The mayor's office has advised victims and family members to use the Louisville Convention Center downtown as an assistance center for anyone who needs updates after this morning's shooting. 
We are expecting a press conference with additional details shortly. Today is a tragedy, Kentucky Governor. We're now hearing a bit more from Kentucky Governor Andy Bashir, who earlier tearfully told reporters a close friend of his didn't make it today. Today is a tragedy, Bashir writes on Twitter, adding that not only Louisville but the entire Commonwealth are in mourning. A senseless act took the lives of our fellow Kentuckians, including friends of mine, he says. The governor speaks of the unimaginable pain families are experiencing right now, and he thanks first responders for their efforts. We are forever grateful, Bashir adds. President Biden urges action. White House Press Secretary Karine Jean-Pierre opened today's press briefing with a statement about another senseless act of gun violence, this time in Lousaville, Kentucky. She said President Joe Biden and First Lady Jill Biden are grateful for the police officers who stepped in the line of fire to save lives. She said the president urged Republicans in Congress to take action and ban assault weapons and high-capacity magazines, among other actions. The majority of Americans want this, she said. We live in a war zone and shouldn't have to. Local political leaders from all sides have been reacting to the shooting. Democrat Rep. Katura Heron expressed outrage and anger that mass shootings were happening on a daily basis in the U.S. and today was our turn in Louisville. As we hold our community tighter there must be outrage and anger, she said. We live in a war zone and we shouldn't have to. Republicans, including Attorney General Daniel Cameron, urged people to pray for those affected and praised the brave men and women of our law enforcement community. News conference due in an hour. We're expecting to hear more from Louisville, from local authorities at a news conference at 1500 hours local time, 2000 hours British summer time. During the last news conference around three hours ago, Deputy Chief Paul Humphrey said it remained unclear whether the suspect was shot by police or killed himself. Five people, including the gunman, are known to have died and a further eight are injured. Two of those injured are police officers, and one of them was in a critical condition and undergoing surgery. Senseless act of gun violence, President Biden. U.S. President Joe Biden has called today's mass shooting a senseless act of gun violence. He says too many Americans are paying for inaction with their lives, as he urged Republicans in Congress to do more. When will Republicans in Congress act to protect our communities? It echoes Biden's renewed calls for gun control legislation, but his desire to pass new reforms faces familiar obstacles. Many Republican senators represent states with large pro-gun communities. Two officers injured, one in critical condition. At least two officers were among the eight people injured during a gunfire exchange between Louisville police and the gunman at the Old National Bank this morning. Deputy Police Chief Paul Humphrey said two of those injured were in a critical condition, with one of those being a police officer. Police say the officer in a critical condition is undergoing surgery at University of Louisville Hospital. Was a, I don't know if it was an active employee or a former employee, but the shooter did have a connection to the, to the location. No. Don't know that. He asked, was there any form of security at the bank? We don't know that either. That'll be part of the investigation. So one more. We, we have resources available to make sure the rest of the city is kept safe, and I do want to reiterate that. We are managing our resources with the state, local, and federal partners to make